The trowel technique is a method that is used for cast in place projects or if a troweled finish is desired, it may be precast in a form and installed later. This technique can take some time to master and achieving a flat surface is more difficult than with tops that are cast face down into a form. But the finish has unique character that showcases the hand of the artist. For this project, we will be following the trowel recipe found in our catalog. GFRC blended mix, coarse sand, 3 8 aggregate, chilled water, water reducer 420, pigment if desired, AC50 fibers, and PVA100 fibers. Start by adding the chilled water to the mixing vessel and add any pigment to be used. Mix well. Gently add 3 quarters of the dry ingredients to the mix and blend well until homogeneous. Add water reducer as needed to maintain a fluid consistency while mixing. Gradually add the remaining dry material and blend well. Scrape the sides to incorporate all material. Allow the mix to rest for 10 minutes. GFRC blended mix will fall set in this time, getting much thicker. Remove the amount of material that will be needed for the trowel layer and set aside. To the remaining material, add 3 8 aggregate and coarse sand and blend well. This is done to extend the yield and reduce shrinkage of the GFRC blended mix. The mix should be similar to oatmeal. Optionally, PVA 100 fibers may be added to thicken the mix. Place the aggregate sand mix in the form to within one quarter inch of the perimeter and the top surfaces. Allow this base layer to set slightly to where it no longer will flow on its own. In the face mix that was set aside, carefully add the AC50 fibers and blend well. These fine monofilament fibers will not only thicken the mix to an optimal troweling consistency, they will also dramatically reduce surface tears that can occur during the trowel stages. Spread the face layer across the surface of the form and along the exposed edges. Since the base layer spread to the edge, a drywall knife is used to massage the mixture down the face of the edge form to work out any trapped air. Continue adding material until full. Using a flat board as a screed, gently slide across the top of the form to ensure it is properly filled. Set aside a small handful of this face material in a plastic cup and cover to keep from drying out. Trowel finishes are achieved with different tools used in multiple stages. In the initial stages, use either a wooden or magnesium float. Steel trowels should only be introduced in the finishing stage. After leveling the top with a screed, use a magnesium float and trowel the surface flat, ensuring the edges remain square and don't distort. You may have to trowel slightly parallel to the sides, so you do not pull the material away from the edges. Use a margin trowel to clean off the form edges and continue working the surface with the magnesium trowel until level. Typically you would trowel in circular and figure eight patterns to work the cream or cement paste to the surface. In this small sample we are limited to the motions we can make. The concrete will become firmer as time goes on, but it is important not to move to a steel trowel until the surface is quite stiff. If a steel trowel is used too early, air pockets may become trapped under a very thin layer of surface cream. When the concrete cures, this thin surface layer will be very brittle and will break apart like an eggshell. Steel trowels can also leave dark marks on the concrete surface and may not be suitable for light or white colored tops. Depending on room conditions, it may take several hours before moving to the next step. It is important to check on the piece about every 30 minutes. 
It will be time to pull the form sidewalls off when the concrete is firm enough to hold its own shape without sagging. In this case, it took two and a half hours. Start by removing the short side wall if possible. Remove the screws attaching the side to the base and firmly grasp the side. Do not pull the wall as this will surely distort the concrete. With the sliding motion, continue applying pressure until the wall slowly moves along the edge. When it starts to move, the wall may be pulled away revealing the concrete edge. Carefully remove any caulk that was used to seal the form edges. Use the face mix material that was set aside to fill imperfections on the edges. Using a margin trowel, work this material into the surface and smooth out to achieve a similar finish as the top surface. Using a pool trowel, create a slight round over and continue troweling so all surfaces are similar. It's important to know when to step away. Troweling is now complete and the piece should be left to cure overnight. With other casting techniques, the piece would be covered with plastic to trap all water into the concrete. Since the top surface is the exposed surface in this case, plastic would cause water to puddle, which would be unsightly on the finished surface. If the project was in extreme conditions, hot, windy, or similar, the surface could be covered with a damp fabric material that is flat and 100% in contact with the surface. This should be covered with plastic to keep the moisture from escaping. After curing overnight, the piece can be minimally processed with diamond polishing pads or sandpaper in preparation for sealer. For more information about post finishing and sealing, please visit our website.